I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard Hello friends, welcome back to Living with Cambria. So today we are tackling a lot. <laughs> uh, pretty much the whole house needs to be done. Um, I don't know about you, but this whole quarantine thing has had me like kind of in a weird mood. Like you would think being stuck in your house you just want to get everything done and that has not been my situation. So the house is kind of a mess. So Today we are going to tackle this house. It needs it really bad, so I'll just show you. Of course, the dog. He's always there. If you're new to my channel, he's always there. Let's see, is the other one in here? I think he is. He's been quiet. Yep, there's Drake. Pretty much always there. Drake! <coughs> Baby, you gonna say hi? No? You're asleep? <laughs> uh, but, so, I need to strip the bed. I need to straighten up Bobby's desk because currently he's still working, but it sounds like it's going to be him coming home working from home. So I want to straighten this up for him. Um, I have some laundry that needs to be put away. I started doing it yesterday um, before we went to bed, but there's still some that I need to hang up and put away. The toilet seat in the bathroom broke. I can't guarantee I'm going to do that myself. I may just let my husband do that, but that's why there's a toilet seat there. Oh, uh, so yeah, the bedroom definitely needs to be done first because this is my sanctuary and this is where I always like to have clean first. So the Caldrea scents I absolutely love. I have tried pretty much every Caldrea scent and I have to say my favorite is the sea salt neroli. However, I haven't found one that I dislike. So highly recommend if you like linen sprays just to freshen stuff up, try the Caldreas. I don't think you'll regret them at all. They are a little bit more pricey, but the scent is also, it's not the typical like, Febreze smell that you get at a regular store. So I don't mind spending a little bit more Especially since I usually just use it to freshen up um, When making the bed or little things like that
So I've learned one thing I love about being on YouTube and recording things is I catch little moments like this and it just, I don't know, it makes my heart melt. This happens on a daily basis, but to be able to catch on camera my little boy coming in just to give me a kiss, I just, I don't know, it just makes my heart melt. And then just moving on to my husband's desk, I'm not going too crazy with organizing. Pretty much all this stuff is his, so... I usually let him handle it, but I did just want to get it looking nicer. So today was one of those bipolar days in Wisconsin, but for the good way, it was about 50 out, which for here, that's really nice. So I wanted to work on the windows. I used the world's best glass cleaner from Walmart. I absolutely love this glass cleaner. I have not found one I like better, but this just allowed me to open up the windows and really clean them well and I need to get the insides of the windows like the tracks because those have gotten really bad um, which just happens over time I think everyone's tracks if you aren't doing them I don't know I probably do it about once a year honestly but could be used to done probably twice a year just to keep these tracks clean and free of dirt your heart is gonna
So all the time, whenever I use this vacuum, you guys ask me about it. This is the Quantum X vacuum. And I would recommend it to anybody with carpeting in their homes. This does not use the typical filter. It uses actually water. So you fill the basin with water. The whole concept and idea is dust and dirt can't fly when wet. So literally every time you vacuum your carpet, it's like using a brand new vacuum because you fill it with water. When you're done, you dump out the dirty water and refill it the next time. So you never need to worry about replacing filters or anything like that. Um, which is normally why typical vacuums start not working anymore is the filters get clogged and just don't have the same suction as before. All right, so this is one thing that always makes me feel so happy is just a clean bedroom. Just to have everything all clean, smelling nice, and beautiful. I always start in here because it's like, it will keep me motivated to keep going. Hey, baby boy, Drake. Hi, baby. All right, now to tackle the bathroom. It's honestly not that bad, but definitely needs to get tackled. Pull all the towels out to get washed, and mainly the counter. The counter is always what gets bad, um, especially I got a bunch of makeup in it this morning. So we will do this next. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us, thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us, mm -hmm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood Then he, he knows how to make it alright Yeah, I get that, he got a history But I don't wanna think about no other than us They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm -hmm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? Nah, nah, nah No drama, no drama, yeah Nah, nah, nah No drama, no drama, yeah, yeah Nah, nah, nah No drama, no drama, yeah Nah, nah, nah Alright, so I stopped in the bathroom. I'm going to finish it later tonight once Bobby gets home for the pure fact of um, when he takes the seat off, I can clean the toilet, like thoroughly clean it well when the seat's not on it. So I'm just going to wait and finish it then. Um, but the counter was my big thing. I really needed to get that cleaned off in, in order. So now I'm going to work on the downstairs. I did take a little bit of a break, but the downstairs is a wreck. So we're going to start in the kitchen. Uh... Honestly, the whole house, the, the whole downstairs is a mess, but that's what happens when you're stuck at home and you live in Wisconsin and the weather here is bipolar. So being able to go outside and play is like very hit and miss right now. So there's been a lot of indoor playing, but I'll show you. All right. So here's the family room, dogs, kid stuff, 
Bjorn. <laughs> um, so it's not horrible. It won't take me long to do that, but definitely need to straighten up the family room. Xander is working on some school stuff, but as you can see, there are toys all over. And that all needs to get cleaned up. And then into the kitchen. Just stuff everywhere. So, yeah. And there's some deep cleaning projects down here that I want to tackle as well. So, let's get to this. Stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing that I have So I'm actually starting by just tidying up the house that is probably the biggest advice I can give you for getting motivated is just work on tidying stuff up. You'll get instant gratification if you just put stuff away where it's supposed to be and get all the obvious stuff taken care of. I also like doing it this way right now because I get tired fairly easily with growing another human. Um, so if I tidy everything up and then take a break and then clean, I feel like I got stuff done at least. So I'm just working on tidying everything up and then I'll go back and do some more thorough cleaning. But in this case, sometimes just getting rid of dishes and toys and things like that will make a huge difference on the appearance of your home and your mental state. So much that I'm still keeping to myself Cause you don't listen, babe But still you got me missing you When I see you, my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time So I wanted to quickly show you the before again, just to really show you how much of a difference just a quick tidy up can make in your house. So if you're not feeling motivated, try this for sure. So 
as you can see, I just tidied up for now, but even just tidying up makes such a huge difference. Obviously, I still need to clean. The floors are a wreck. The counters still need to be wiped down. But sometimes if you're like not feeling motivated, just going around and picking up the stuff that needs to be picked up is a great way to really motivate you because it makes such a huge difference already. So the only advice I can give you is tidying up when you don't feel motivated. It is a great thing to do just to give you maybe that kickstart to get stuff done. For so long, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh yeah, but somehow I always seem to wake up in your So you will see a different vacuum that I use downstairs. So when I got the Quantum X, I was planning on getting rid of my Shark Duo. However, I actually love my Shark Duo downstairs. So I know for everyone I recommended, if you have carpeting, get the Quantum X. It's amazing. But if you have hard floors, I recommend the Shark Duo. It has a dual roller and... Typically when you vacuum, sometimes the bristles on a typical vacuum will fling stuff around. But on this thing, it actually has almost like a duster roller in the front. And it works so well on my hard surfaces. So for me, I use my Shark Duo downstairs since it's pretty much other than the rugs, all just hardwoods. And then upstairs, I use my Quantum. Nice thing about having two vacuums is I don't need to lug a vacuum up and down the stairs on a regular basis. So that is a bonus. But if you're trying to decide what vacuums you want, if you have mainly hardwood floors or hard surfaced floors, I recommend the Shark Duo. If you have a ton of carpet, the Quantum X all the way. Understand that we get one chance, one chance. 